I'm coming to you live from your event marketing campaign. And I actually hope that that's not true, but the reality is for probably 80% of you, it actually is true. And this is what happens when you build a house on bad foundations. And that's exactly what happens if you start doing your event marketing and you have not got your house in order. So where you wanna actually be is here at the Taj Mahal. Solid foundations, amazing building, and a high performing event campaign that sells tickets and that sells out. So how do you do that? You must follow these five steps. These are the most critical things that you must have in order before you even start running your event campaign. Number one, you must use a daily campaign tracker. You have to know how many sales you're making each day, how many you wanted to make, and where you are compared to where you plan to be, and how many tickets a day, on average, you need to break even or to sell out. Those are the numbers you need to know, and you need to track them daily. So get that going. Number two, you must use tools like Asana and Slack to make your life easier. Project management tools are so, so valuable, especially in the event space when everything is just chaos, you don't know which way is up. Having a way to track your project and to track your tasks and track what everyone's doing is absolutely critical. So if you don't have those, get them going. Number three, make sure your tracking is all set up correctly on socials, on ticket pages, and on your website. This is the biggest downfall that I see from event promoters. They just send traffic to their ticket page, they've got no idea where the sales are coming from, or things aren't getting attributed uh, properly, and they have no visibility or anything of seeing where any of their marketing is having an impact. So you must do that. I'm going to drop a link uh, into this email which sends to a page and a website which has instructions for how to set up all of your tracking correctly. Uh, that will absolutely tenfold your campaigns. Number four, have a centralized and segmented database. The amount of promoters that I see that have got CSV files everywhere, maybe they've got some data in Eventbrite, maybe they've got some data in Mosh Ticks, maybe they've got some data in OzTix. they might send emails randomly here and there, they got a bit of stuff in MailChimp, it's just all over the place. Your database is your most valuable asset. So get all of your data, put it in one centralized database, have it organized, whether you're doing different genres of events or different states, different locations, make sure it's nice and segmented and then use it. Use it regularly to contact people uh, and to get people to sign up for your pre-sales, to get people to buy tickets and leading into number five, use your database to poll your audience regularly. Ask them what they want and give it to them. It's not rocket science. So many people don't do this. The amount of value that lies in just asking people what they want or how you can improve or which type of drinks that they want or um, when they would like you to do the event, what type of acts or artists or talent that you want that they want at your event. It's just critical to do this. So many people don't do it. So make sure you're doing that along with all of these five things, then get yourself into the Taj Mahal and you'll sell out nice and quickly.